here we are once again a very warm welcome back to the channel guys over the last few days we've really been getting our teeth stuck into this new sound ship update and we're ready to bring you a few more builds over the coming episodes as we continue this journey today's episode is going to be all about efficient algae production we touched on that in our most recent video as we covered the highlights we're going to be working our way through all the new materials and we're going to pick things up with the algae today it's a really important material as you go on to establish your oils which ultimately leads to your plastic production and your ink production as well so getting this right at the start is fundamental to your success later on so with that in mind let's get straight into the sandbox building and we can show you our design for the algae so in order to produce the algae you're going to need to get an efficient water production in place in order to do so which means we're going to need both hydrogen and oxygen so we placed our first synthesizer down here. This is going to be our hydrogen production. And then we're going to place two chemical mixers back to back and connect this synthesizer up to both of them. We're then going to place another synthesizer just to the right of these chemical mixers. And this is going to be our oxygen production. We're also going to connect that up to the chemical mixers as well. And then place down a further two chemical mixers just on top of these. Again, back to back. And the oxygen is going to supply all four of these. Now we're going to need another hydrogen synthesizer to get to the top two here so we're going to do exactly the same like so now we've got our four exit points set up for our water production we can then start to place our grower buildings down which is ultimately going to produce the algae we can add a few extra pipes here to connect all of them up and also remembering to select the recipe otherwise nothing's going to grow and nothing's going to be exported now we can copy this design on the other side as well doing exactly the same thing connecting all the grower plants up to the water pipes so they've all got sufficient supply and in order to export the algae production you're going to need to use some grabbers to get them into the exporters themselves so we're going to be using fast grabbers to do this just to absolutely maximize the production of this build obviously using this many fast grabbers is going to impact on the price so if you're a bit short of cash feel free to use the regular grabbers however the production output will be slowed a little bit to reflect that If we turn this on, we can see we're producing 14.97 algae per second, which is a great amount. And we've actually only used three synthesizers up till this point. Now, for some people, that might be enough output per second. If that's the case, feel free to stop here. If you really want to maximize this design, we're going to place another two synthesizers at the top section and generate a little bit more output. So we've placed our four synthesizer here. This is going to be our hydrogen synthesizer. And because we've only got two synthesizers remaining, we are limited to just using these two chemical mixers this time. We're then going to place down our fifth and final synthesizer, changing that to oxygen and then connecting up the bottom two chemical mixers like so, which gives us two more outputs of water, which we can then connect a few further grower buildings to. Now in terms of the grabbers, we're just going to do the exact same strategy, placing the fast grabbers down. However, when it comes to the bottom two grower buildings here, you can use regular grabbers. The output won't be affected, so save yourself some cash and put those down. And we're then just going to export them just as we've done previously, and that will finalise this build. Now if we turn this on, we can see we're getting 24.98 algae per second. It's nearly 25 per second which is going to give you plenty of algae to play with as you come to using this material later on in the production process those of you that are using exporters into additional factories this can be a really good factory to have in place now if we head over to the blueprint section here check out the overall cost we are expecting a bit of a high price because of all the fast grabbers incorporated here and the chemical mixer buildings aren't cheap at 4,500 credits each as well. So 101,000 for this build. That being said, if you only want the bottom section, it will be a lot cheaper. Whatever suits you guys, you can add them both if you want. In terms of materials, there are a lot of springs required on this build as well as quite a few steel pipes and steel gears. The gearboxes might prove a little bit of a stepping stone but if you've implemented our gearbox build that shouldn't be too much of an issue either. So let's save this design and export it into our micro factory. So here we are guys in our micro factory we've placed down this build. I'm going to turn it on. We can see the output has dropped slightly from the sandbox building to 24.6. Still a good amount nevertheless. And just look how quickly this algae is filling up in our transit capacity. We hope this design helps you out guys and gives you a nice solid grounding 
for the more complex materials, your oils and your inks as you come on to do those as well. We'll be back next time with another build to crave your appetite. But until then, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.